Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to evict a node from cluster. In this demo, we'll be learning number one, consideration before you evict a node from an existing cluster. Number two, how to evict a node from an existing cluster. So let's go ahead and take a look of my clustering environment. I have three node cluster right here, as you can see, node one, TBS node one, TBS node two, TBS node three. What I would like to do is evict a node, TBS node 3. I don't need this node. I'm going to go ahead and evict this node from my clustering environment. But keep in mind that um, if uh, the consideration that we were talking about, that if you evict a node, if your node is running any resource on the cluster, that resource needs to be uninstalled before you can go ahead and evict a node. Um, I always tell in my every video, that if you add or remove something from your cluster please go ahead and run the validation because this is important otherwise it may have caused some serious issues with your clustering environment and failover might not work right so um, in this demo we're going to go ahead and evict the node it's really easy and we'll be talking about it will give you warning when you evict the node from existing cluster and that is basically very important warning so uh, there are a couple ways that you could do it um, you can right click on the node and click on more action and you will see stop clustering services or evict a node so this is one way you can go up here and do the same thing uh, on the action pan right here evict a node so what we're gonna go ahead and do uh, first of all you need to take a look on the roles that's one of the consideration you want to make sure that none of the resources are running on this node that you're going to evict so right now all the resources all the roles are running on node one let's take a look on the nodes all nodes are up and online let's take a look on the disks disks are all on node one networks are okay so what we're going to do now our node three is ready to be evicted so we're gonna say goodbye to node 3 so let's go ahead and right click on that go to more action and evict as you can see right here this is a very important warning are you sure you want to evict the node 3 evicting a node can cause problems if a cluster role requires that node so that's what I mentioned that uh, please check your roles that if this uh, node is supporting any role in your cluster you need to uninstall that role before you can evict the cluster otherwise you will run into serious issues so let's go ahead and click yes we made sure that uh, none of the roles are running on this node so click yes and it is in process of eviction so that's about it really it's really easy to uh, perform some destructive action and eviction is one of the uh, destructive action when it comes to uh, your cluster so evicting node is basically very easy just right click and evict the node but uh, consideration is where you need to pay attention any role that is uh, supported by that node will go ahead and basically stop running and after you evict the node I would recommend you to go ahead and validate the cluster um, I'm not going to perform that in this demo, but uh, it's always a good idea to go ahead and validate the cluster. You may need to add that n uh, evicted node again. So just make sure that uh, uh, none of the uh, roles that you have in your cluster are being affected from your destructive action, which is evicting a node from an existing cluster. And I hope this demo helps.